I grew up in inner city. Grew up a lot of hard times in Brooklyn, New York, Bedford Stuyvesant, so East Flatbush. I would like to break the cycle of the mindset of where I come from. So that, that's really been big on me. It's like, you know what, I don't want nobody with my last name to go through what I've been through. So like, what can I do to be great? Like, why be good in life? Let's be great. I want my last name to last like Heinz or Hilton or Hess. The military also got me there to be prepared and every day I conquer and acquire new goals and achieve. Every day is a hustle. I had a great friend. He said, use that, all that motivation you had towards the Navy, use it to yourself and see what happens. Two years later, a small empire has been built. When you think of Admiral's experience, you gotta think about military. What's the highest, what's the highest place you could be in the military? The people that work for the presidents, the generals, the ambassadors, the dignitaries. As a chef, I have a wide variety of culinary experience. So I've been to 37 countries. I'm influenced from every little country I've been to, and I take a little taste from everywhere I've been. So people say, you know, what kind of food, what do you specialize in? <laughs> World-class cuisine. And having a work wife, man, it, um, it keeps, me, um, keeps me balanced. I see Emily more than I see my wife. I'm at work with Emily most of the time. Seven days a week, we working. My wife, she gets to see me late at night, early in the morning, and she doesn't understand because right now it's grind time. And a lot of my work is networking. I, I, I make a lot of money by over a glass of wine. So somebody gotta go have a drink to go cl close a deal. She don't know that. My wife's my biggest fan, but sometimes could be the biggest enemy at the same time. So <laughs> it's a hard balance, but you know, we, we, we push it. We push it to make it work. Most entrepreneurs take about five years to actually, you know, get things going. As a small business owner, you try to learn how to deal with. At the same time, you got to spend money to make things happen. And you can't crash because you're trying to secure employment for you. You know, you, you, we have 10 employees that families depend on us. And we can't f that up. Being able to adapt to tough situations, you know, is one of the things that got me here where I'm at now. Every day is like a fight, doing a rope of dope, and you know, I'm, I'm like George Foreman and Ali doing a rope of dope, just trying to make it to the next round. 